My name is Mark Sedaducati, and I'm a magician and an inventor of magic, games, puzzles, illusions, and toys, and all kinds of fun things. Here we have optical conclusions. This appears to be a cube in the mirror, but half of the cube, it's really only four cubes that are sitting on top of a mirror that give you the illusion of one large cube. Here we have a puzzle with the Mona Lisa. And as you can see, there's something strange about it because the Mona Lisa's hands are over here and her face is in the mirror. Anything you draw is gonna be reflected in the mirror. It's like drawing inside a kaleidoscope. Like, wow, look, see that? We'll draw this. We'll draw a little, a little man. So I was a student at the School of Visual Arts and I answered an ad on the School of Visual Arts bulletin board for an inventor to come up with some ideas for a hexaflexagon. And a hexaflexagon is a mathematical object and it really fascinated me. But the thing that fascinated me even more was that the payment was going to be a royalty. And that sounded good to me. Hmm, you can get a royalty for coming up with ideas? That sounded better than just doing a job and getting paid for the job. Now Martin Gardner wrote quite a bit about hexaflexagons, and he wrote the mathematical column for Scientific American for many years. Everything that Martin wrote about is everything that I'm really interested in. Now I'm actually involved in a conference of the Gathering for Gardner to honor his work. The Gigazzo puzzle, one of my latest inventions, was a direct result of the Gathering for Gardner. This is the Gigazzo puzzle, and as you can see, this is a picture of me. And the Gigazzo puzzle has 300 pieces, but the amazing thing about Gigazzo is that the pieces could be arranged to make any face in the whole world. In this case, it's me. And here it is in the box. And you can see all of these different faces were made with the exact same 300 pieces. And that's the Gigazzo puzzle. I guess I'm an inventor because I have a lot of patents and I invent things, but I consider myself more of a magician and an artist than an inventor. Because most inventors try to improve the world. They try to uh, create the better mousetrap or make improvements on something. But for me, it's more, more of a personal expression. So I pick themes like mirrors. It's been a big topic for me. And I, I explore principles and I try to do something that nobody would ever think of something that's personal to me. Many times in real life we're actually fooled uh, by we accidentally walk into a glass door and we didn't realize it was there or we think there's something there and it turns out to be a reflection. I love being fooled that way spontaneously because then there's the basis of something that I can explore and maybe make even more amazing and make it intentional instead of accidental. And that's what I try to do.